Hey, welcome back to Sabrosito Cooking. So it's the holiday times, getting close to Christmas. As you can see, we got our Christmas tree up. And it gets to be that time where you're doing a lot of cooking over the holidays. And the holiday, you know, Christmas hasn't got here yet. But we're like, hey, how do we eat small, simple, not too much? Because that big Christmas meal is coming. And I don't want to get too heavy before that Christmas meal. I eat a lot. I love Christmas dinner. But... I kind of want to get ready for Christmas dinner in my in my point of view. So what I came up with is a cauliflower soup for brunch and maybe you can pair like a chicken grilled chicken sandwich with it or some other type of protein like that in a sandwich form. So what I decided is the cauliflower soup and of course at Sabrosito Cooking we always spice it up. So I'm going to add some poblanos and anaheims and we're going to do a smoky cauliflower soup. So Stay tuned, let's get cooking guys. First, you're gonna lightly coat your poblanos and Anaheim peppers with olive oil and then lightly salt them. Place them in the oven at 375 degrees for 15 to 17 minutes, turning them once. When your peppers are done roasting, go ahead and put them in a medium bowl, place plastic wrap over them, and set them aside for about 15 minutes. We want to cut our cauliflower in half, and then we're going to remove the florets from the stem into small little pieces to get them ready for roasting. In an 11 by 15 baking dish, put some olive oil, put your cauliflower, and you're gonna mix them around until they're coated real well, and then season with salt and pepper. And then the next thing you're gonna do, put some tin foil over top of that, put some slits in it, and you're gonna cook this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 to 30 minutes. After your peppers have been sitting for about 15 minutes, you can go ahead and take the outer skin off, devein and seed your peppers, and then blend them into a puree. Once the cauliflower is done roasting, you're gonna put the cauliflower in a medium sized saucepan and you're gonna put your three cups of chicken broth and you're gonna bring it up to a boil and then turn it back down and simmer it for 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes, you're gonna put the cauliflower either into a food processor or a blender. And you're gonna use the chicken stock that you simmered it in to go ahead and puree the cauliflower to a consistency of soup. The beautiful thing about this is you don't have to put all the cauliflower in, you can leave some out, you can cut that up, put it in the soup later to add a little more texture. That's the beautiful thing about cooking, right? It's yours, do what you want with it. Return your cauliflower puree back to your pan. You're gonna add a half a cup of cream your chili mixture, which is your poblanos and anaheims. And you're gonna stir this together until it's fully combined and you're gonna bring it back up to heat and just until it's warm and all combined together. And then it's done. Don't forget to taste test, right? That's always important because you might need to salt and pepper to your liking or taste while it's still on the stove. So put your oven on broil. You're gonna go ahead and cut your thin slices of panela cheese and place your cheese on your tostadas and put them in your oven and broil them until the cheese melts. Okay guys, so we finished the uh, cauliflower soup with poblanos in it and roasted poblanos and Anaheim's. And we actually did some tostadas de tajin with, what's the cheese? Panela, panela cheese. Panela cheese. And we just wanted to try something different because the last time I made this for the family, I did blue corn tortilla chips and uh, like a goat cheese on it. It was a little different. Not everyone's into goat cheese. She's definitely not into goat, goat cheese. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and taste it now. We wanna see what it tastes like, how it turned out. Uh, with the Anaheim was a little different from the last time I made it for my family. So I wanna see if uh, Claudia likes it more this way or she likes it better the other way. 
it's very good very delicious i like it better this way because for me it has a little more spice so it's a little spicier than just with the poblanos uh -huh. so i definitely like the anaheim pepper in it but if you don't like the spicy food, I would say just leave the Anaheim out and just do the poblano peppers. What do you think about the tostada with it? Let me try. She was eating the tostada ahead of time before the video. Yeah, I'm always eating everything. And? It's really good. Does it got that like lemon a little bit or no? Yeah, and I really like... Or lime? Sorry, and I really like the cheese, how I really had never had panela cheese before. I always use like queso fresco, but this is very good. It's really good. I like, I like the combination. I like how it goes together with the, with the soup also. So hey, please try it. And if you like the video, please subscribe. Leave some comments if you do uh, make one of our dishes. So, or if you have any comments for another dish that you would like to see me do, or or see us try, please let me know. So, hey, thanks a lot for watching Sabrosito Cooking, and we'll see you next time. Adios.